I think what we're going to do is help provide some stability. Mm -hmm. um, we, we give our guarantee that whatever we do, we will do well, mm -hmm. and it will help with revitalizing this community. And that has sort of been the trend, that has been the, the tone of everything that they've wanted to do, revitalize the community. And certainly there's various places that someone can do, you know, help revitalize. We thought that these were the best places that our efforts could help that initiative. So again, it's not sort of taking the place of, it is, there's already momentum here. Where can we fit in? Well, we can't do, you know, these five things, but you know what, this one thing, and, that thing, we know we can do that really well. And so, you know, and, and hopefully we can, you know. We can we can see some, some progress and some change, you know, for the community and stabilize it. We want to involve the community here. You know, what type of housing? You know, some folks may say senior housing. What does that mean? You know, what does that look like? Or they may say single family, but that could be duplexes, that could be a townhouse. So we're just trying to figure out what that means. The first step is to demo, uh, demolish the existing units, um, get the eyesore down, get the criminal activity down, and stop aiding and abetting places for people to hide and, and do um, not good things in the community. Um, and we're going to kind of leave it as an open canvas for the community. We have some um, artistic expression um, things on tap, um, repurposing some of the structures uh, for that. Um, how do we make this site an amenity for the community as we hold it for redevelopment in the future? Um, and as Lisa mentioned, really working with the community to figure out the highest and best use for the community, whether it's family housing, townhomes, single family, senior housing, um, what that looks like, um, really working with the community to those ends. and helping revitalize a community. Um, people move where there's good schools. And so we've been partnering for the last, well, certainly the last school year and then this school year with Washington Elementary. And that's included everything from helping paint during the summer to get ready for the kids to participating in some of the programs to read to the children. And some of those other activities that she's doing to get those kids and that entire school off of the family school list. It's a jewel. Oh my gosh, you're like with you. You're literally walking distance to UAB. Mm -hmm. You're walking distance to Princeton Hospital. Mm -hmm. You already have the bus that goes up and down. So hey, if my car busts, you know, if brakes or something, I can at least get to a bus and get to work. Proximity. This is a jewel. Now, when you place on top of that, the folks that live in this community that care about it and want to see it, you know, so, sort of stabilize and do better and all of the efforts that are happening, huh. it's, you know, if, as long as we're all pulling together, and from my standpoint, we are, right. we're moving in the same direction, it's a win-win. Not only for this community, but for South Titusville and Birmingham in general. We have some beautiful communities here in Birmingham. We just want to, you know, do our part.